This is my clean girl makeup tutorial. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about educational beauty, honest and transparent beauty advice. Now, today's video is me creating that clean girl makeup look, which I've been really excited about doing because I love this look. And I wanted to show you guys how to do it in a very easy way. And as you know, I'm very descriptive and I show you step by step so that it's super easy to understand. Now, I hope you like this look, but before we head into the video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. You can also catch me over on Instagram. So let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so I've been really excited about this tutorial because I've been dying to create this look for you guys and show you how I do the clean girl makeup look. Now, the clean girl makeup look is a kind of viral TikTok makeup trend, which went crazy all over TikTok and then it just went crazy everywhere else. A clean girl look is, is very clean, very minimalistic, very sleek. Some people kind of do their different versions of it. Like some people have a no makeup makeup version of a clean girl look. It really depends on how much makeup you need or you feel that you need. So for example, I would probably put a little bit more on, but I've actually seen most of the clean girl makeup looks are similar to what I'm gonna show you. So similar in terms of a similar amount of makeup because sometimes creating that nice kind of natural glowy look isn't necessarily as easy as you think it is, especially when you have textured skin and you have dark eye circles like myself. In terms of my hair, now what I did, I do this look a lot because personally I just really hate blow drying my hair, like as in like a sleek blow dry look. So I'll only really wear it, wear it down if I've gone to the salon to get it blow, washed and blow dried. So at the moment what I did, I knew that my hair was pretty kind of like needed to be tied back. It wasn't kind of fresh enough to be able to wear down. And for this kind of look, a sleek look looks really nice. It fits in Really well with the overall look. So what I've done is I did a center parting, pushed my hair back, it was a bit of all over the place, and then I kind of wet my hair a little bit. So I just got some water in the sink and then just like put it in my hands and really kind of wet every part of my hair. And not so it's drenched, but just so it's like kind of a little bit wet. And then what I do is I get my comb, and this is the comb that I use. It's a tooth comb. I think that's what you call it, a tooth comb. But yeah, I use this. So I use this part of it to kind of like make sure I get my center parting right. Sometimes it's a bit off, off center, but you know, this one's all right. So I kind of like, do that, make sure I've got the center, and then I use this part of it to just kind of like comb it once my hair's a little bit wet, and that makes it really easy. Then what I do is I put my Olaplex in my hand. So I put a little bit of my Olaplex on the palm of my hand. I'd say, I wouldn't say a pea-sized amount, I'd say two PC, two pea size, two peas in the palm of my hand. That's the size that I put. I basically then kind of smooth it in my hand and I go all over and then I go back over with my comb to make sure it's evenly kind of like run through my hair. Now, what I do is I do that when I, I use this one, this is number three and this basically repairs and strengthens your hair. It's absolutely amazing. I love this stuff. I don't know what I would do without this because obviously I dye my hair, like I go to the salon and get it highlighted. It can be really stressful on your hair and really damaging. So this has really kind of been my hair savior. It really keeps my hair in good condition. So I use this when I know that I'm probably gonna be washing my hair that same night or the next day. But sometimes what I do, if I don't wanna apply this and I know that I just want something to kind of like smooth that frizz a little bit and I've only just washed it, then I'll probably use this, which is the Olaplex number six. And what this is, is a bond smoother. So it helps to kind of like smooth your hair, helps to eliminate frizz. And it kind of like, it's a leave-in, it's a styling cream basically. So it's not necessarily the, the one which is purely there to repair your hair and you're supposed to wash it out. Moving on to the actual look. Now, a key trick in getting that really nice clean girl makeup look is prepping your skin, having that right kind of skin prep so that everything goes on really nice and smoothly and your skin looks amazing after. So I'm gonna apply my eye cream. I'm using the Ulla Henriksen Wrinkle Blur Eye Cream. So I'm just gonna like smooth that around my eyes. And I like this because it's almost like a almost a velvety finish that it gives me. It doesn't kind of fully absorb. It does, but it just leaves a really nice smooth finish so that even when my, my concealer goes on, it's really good. It's really nice and easy to put it on. Okay, next up I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. This is pretty good. This stuff is like, it's four times more hydrating than hyaluronic acid and it really does help to refine your pores. So I'm just gonna put a couple of drops, just two drops is enough. I'm just gonna smooth that over my skin. I love the smell of this. It just smells like you're in a spa. It just gives you 
you a more kind of like tighter, like your skin feels a bit more tighter, but not in that horrible dry tight. Just like you can feel like everything's a bit more refined. Next, I'm applying my moisturizer and I'm gonna use the Forever Living Products Aloe Moisturizing Lotion because I feel like my skin needs like that soothing. It just, just needs soothing because I'm just like, my skin is so tired lately. Right, I'm gonna use my concealer. So I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in medium and I'm just gonna kind of apply this over my lids. I'm just gonna blend this in with my Beauty Blender. If you've seen my tutorials before, then you know that at this point, I would usually apply a powder there so that it locks it all in and there's no creasing. Now I'm gonna leave that. I know it's gonna crease up, but I'm gonna apply powder a little bit later because I wanna do my whole base first. Now I'm gonna apply my SPF. So I'm actually using, it's an SPF from Primer in One. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible Flawless Poreless Primer. It's gonna prime my skin to help my makeup kind of like last and give me that nice smooth finish to my skin. But at the same time, I've got SPF 50. Okay, next up, gonna go in with my concealer. I am applying this where I feel that I need it. So I want that whole kind of like lifted look. So I'm taking this quite far up like that. Okay, I'm gonna get my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. I'm just gonna buff these other areas in. I'm leaving my under eyes because that's what I'm gonna do with a sponge. Kind of like keeping it in the same area and just buffing it in. Okay, now the under eyes, just gonna blend that in. Okay, so we've got that coverage in all the areas that we need. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. I'm actually using a foundation which you guys are gonna love. This is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. It's the new undetectable foundation. It's amazing. This stuff is so good. Now I actually mix in two shades together because I'm a little bit tanned at the moment because of the pool days that we've, I've been having. I need to kind of like warm up my face as you can see. So I'm going to be mixing two shades together. So I think usually I would probably be Y236, but I'm going to be mixing in 3Y40 into this because that's a little bit warmer. Can I just say I love the bottles. The new packaging for this is amazing because the lid color matches the shade. So it changes with each shade of foundation. I personally, I absolutely love the finish of this. So I'm just gonna like put two pumps of the lighter shade and then one pump of the dark shade. So you can actually buy a new brush for Makeup Forever, which is the 109 brush, which is great if you wanna use a brush to apply foundation. And it works really, really well with this actual foundation, but I'm gonna use a sponge. This is a different sponge. I'm using the Makeup Forever sponge. I, this sponge is insane. So basically you have the actual sponge. So this has been wet and it's, I've squeezed it a few times, so it's doubled in size and I've squeezed a tissue around it so it absorbs all the excess water. But the tip of it here, which is what you apply the foundation with on the main kind of larger surface areas of your face is almost like this slight kind of rubber silicone finish to it and then the rest is sponge so you can flip it to kind of get into the corners so yeah I want to show you this so I'm going to go right in and do the larger areas and I'm going to use the flip side of the sponge so that we can kind of really get into those areas it is crazy how this foundation is just so, it literally is undetectable. Like when you put it on, it just literally melts into the skin. Like it doesn't look like, oh my God, there's so much foundation there. So I've just flipped the sponge. I'm gonna go on along the under eye area because I've already got my concealer on. So it's kind of like merging everything together. Now I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Bliss and I'm just gonna apply this just along here. This is the upper part of my cheekbone and I'll apply more if I need to. I'm gonna use the back of this sponge and just kind of like buff this in. Yeah, I feel like I need some more. Okay, so I'm gonna get my Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. This one is Tan 46, and I'm actually gonna just apply this, like I'm gonna put use a, a brush here. I mean, this is just the, which one is this? This is the 226 brush from Makeup Forever. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kind of like contour my eye. So I'm just applying it basically where the socket is, but I'm going in a little bit because that can kind of go into my nose contour a little bit. Now I want to lift my eye. Don't worry about how this looks at the moment because obviously I've got to blend it and it's all going to kind of like merge together really nicely. 
So we want that really nice feline pulled back look. I'm actually gonna apply a really small amount on my under eyes and it's just gonna give me some dimension there. Cause I've got to kind of like set that area yet and just buff it in a bit. And I'm gonna take this up here, just a little bit. I'm gonna just apply a small amount here, very, very small. I'm gonna get my Hollywood complexion brush from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just gonna buff this in. So I'm just kind of like buffing it, keeping the shape the same, but I'm buffing it in so that the edges look really nice and kind of like, it just looks like a re really natural shadow as opposed to like a line. And I've, I've touched it very lightly. I'm not pressing it in too much. I'm not moving the brush around too much. Can you see how that just looks like a really nice shadow now? Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the beauty blender that I used right at the beginning for my eyelids. And, cause this is where I'm just gonna set my eyelids so that that's completely done now because we've obviously got the kind of sculpting on the eye. So I'm just gonna kind of go in, get rid of this creasing. I'm only really going over the main lid area because I've got that really nice sculpting above it and I don't wanna ruin that. I'm just getting my Ben Eye Banana Powder. I'm just gonna get my Laura Mercier Powder Puff, keeping my eyes looking down so that I don't crease it. I'm gonna just go over with a little bit of powder and then just dust off the powder with my Real Techniques brush. So now the eyelid is done, I don't need to worry about that creasing constantly. I'm gonna use the Fenty Cheeks Out Honey Glaze Bronzer. It's a cream bronzer. And I'm basically gonna, I've got like the tip of my sponge again. I'm just gonna go around the hairline just to give me a bit more of a nice sun-kissed look. Maybe just along the jawline. I'm just getting the tip of my sponge again. I'm just gonna make sure there are no creases on my under eyes because I wanna set that area. Okay, I've literally only done the under eyes there because I don't want to make the rest of my face look super matte. But I do want that nice clean under eye area look. So you can see the under eyes are nice and clean now. So we've got that nice lifted look because that sculpting here has really helped to lift that area. Okay, so I'm gonna do my brows. I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wears in chocolate and I'm just gonna kind of like draw feather strokes because I don't want a really strong brow. But I do want them to look thicker. So what I've done is I'm kind of like drawing the feather strokes here and then I get to my arch and I, I have to draw the underside first so that I know what direction I'm gonna go in. And then from that underside line that I've drawn, I'm gonna then start creating the, the flicks that replicate the hairs. Because otherwise you're just kind of blindly doing it. You don't know what direction. So at least you've got something to work, work with. So you kind of like draw this line here. And this is mainly if you don't have much hair there because obviously then you need to create a marker point for yourself. So that's my marker point. And then I start kind of like replicating the hair so that it looks a bit more natural. What I'm gonna do is just use my Anastasia Brow Freeze. So I've just kind of like bent a spool, spoolie and then I'm just gonna go into it a little bit. And this is just gonna like push my actual hair up a little bit so that that stays in place. I have to say it's probably one of the best kind of brow gels that I've used. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to eyes and I'm actually using something from Hindash. Hindash is the sweetest guy, by the way. He's so, he's just the sweetest guy. It's really weird because I feel like like a couple of years ago we, when the events were going on, we were always like chatting at events and stuff. And you know, now he's like within the last couple of years, he's just done so much and I'm so proud of him. Hindash, if you're watching, love you loads. And I can't wait to try this. So this is actually his new eye pencil. This is Intra and I'm gonna be using this because it, it blends really, really well. I'm gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury eye smudger brush with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually apply this just along really, really close to my lash line. So I'm almost like just flicking here, just until the end of the lash line, making it a little bit thicker so it goes up a little bit. Super, super thin from the center of the lid. There you go. So I've got that kind of like thickness there and you can see it, it becomes like closer and closer, closer to the lash line. So now what I'm gonna do is just go really close, like right into the lashes here. It's not so much creating a line, it's almost, it's just tight lining. So you're like making the lash line just look a little bit more defined. Now I'm gonna go in with this brush and first off I'm gonna smudge this right into the lash line. Right, now when we get to this end section here, I'm just buffing it in. So I'm just pressing it in. 
Okay, now I want to look straight ahead and I want to basically lift it at the end. So it's giving me that slight lifted effect. But all I'm doing is dragging the color that's already there. So you can see I didn't actually create a wing with it. And that's because this pencil smudges so well, I can just drag whatever color was already there. And you can see it's not really a, a, a harsh line. It's a very soft finish. And it just goes kind of like up there. It's super, super soft. I'm just gonna get a very small amount here. Press, like literally just did a couple of dots. There you go. So that there's just some kind of definition underneath. Okay, going in with my mascara. I'm using my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. This is a great mascara. And I'm just gonna apply this to kind of like thicken and lengthen my lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my lips. I'm using the Hindash Lip Tone Pencil in Hush. I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm gonna make it slightly bigger on the top section here and the bottom section and then meet my real lip line. It's a highly pigmented pencil. Okay, I'm gonna use my lip brush to just kind of like blend this lip color inwards. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Hindash Monochromance. Not sure if that's how you say it, so I'm sure Hindash will let me know. This is, I'm gonna use Heart and Throb. I'm probably gonna mix them together on my finger. I'll probably go more towards the heart shade and just press that in. Yeah, that's the kind of like color I wanted. And now I'm gonna lock that in with my Fenty Cream in Fenty Glow. Just use my finger. I just want like a nice, Slight gloss, nothing major. Now I'm gonna get some of that pencil I used in Intra and I'm just gonna put, I've put that on my hand there and I'm just getting a, this is actually the brush I use for my brows sometimes if I'm using a dip brow, but this is 3-1-T from Inglot and I'm using the very tip of it, the cor like, cause it's very sharp and I'm just gonna get, grab some of that color off the back of my hand and I'm just gonna do little tiny dots so, to just give that kind of, almost like enhance any sunspots that I have have any freckles that I have and that in itself helps to just make your skin look a little bit more real you know when you've got that nice coverage maybe you have to like me so you want that coverage you want that nice flawless base but at the same time you want your skin to look like skin it's a really good trick to make your skin look a little bit more natural so make your base look natural so what I'm gonna do is just kind of like just dot this over certain areas where I know I've got maybe some kind of moles or sunspots or beauty spots I'm only actually going over where I know I can see little kind of sunspots that I've got. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my Benefit Sunbeam. I'm just putting a little bit on the back of my hand. And so I've just got it like that. And I'm just getting some of it on my finger. And I'm gonna apply this just on certain areas, just to kind of give my skin a bit more of that kind of glow. I'm actually gonna apply a little bit here because that's gonna help to just almost help lift that area as well. Right under that wing. See, that helps to give that nice lifted finish. I'm actually looking at everywhere I feel the light hits my face and like where I can see that light bouncing off and that's where I'm kind of adding more. So I'm just gonna go down here, just on the tip of the nose. So I'm gonna go in with a powder blush. So I'm gonna go over my my blush, the liquid blush that I put, and add a powder on top, which is gonna set it, but also just enhance that area. So I'm using the MAC Matte Blush in Melba, and I'm using my Neo Powder brush from Kevin O'Quar. I'm just gonna kind of like press this in on top. Now I'm gonna go in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. This is in 5.5 and it's a really nice shade. I'm gonna use my Zoeva 134 brush and I'm just applying this to areas that I want a very subtle glow. So almost over that, that basically where I did that liquid highlight on certain areas. Almost gives you like that gloss skin finish. I'm gonna go into my Fenty Sun Stalker in Private Island. I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting brush. And this is where I'm just gonna apply the powder to sculpt my face a little. Give me that really nice kind of lifted look. I apply a little bit here, because a tiny bit, because I don't have much space there, but it really helps to just lift everything up. 
I'm also going to go in with the same powder and I'm using my Fenty 200 brush. I just want to sculpt my nose a little bit. Lastly, I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette, the Universe Unlocked one. And there's a really nice kind of like goldish highlight here. Not the one that's like swirled, but this one here, I really like that. So I'm going to use that on my inner corners of my eyes. And I'm using the Zoeva 230 brush. Just going to kind of like add some highlight here. I'm going to add a little bit under here just to give that little bit of lift just enhance that kind of lift there yeah. using my finger just a little bit here and the tiniest bit under my brow and that is my clean girl makeup tutorial for you guys. I really do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions about any part of this, let me know. I personally really love this look. And I think even if you were to like really kind of pull back your hair and do more of a kind of center like pony, like a little bit of a higher pony. If you've got longer hair than me, then you definitely can. I think this is gonna look great. Like if everything's kind of like pulled back like that even more, I think it looks amazing. But I really love this look. This is my clean girl makeup tutorial well there you go i do hope that you like this look i am absolutely loving it and i think i'm gonna start doing this look a little bit more because i'm so in love with it and i love that it just still looks like a really glowy look without being glowy in all the wrong places and it's very lifted so anyway if you like this look please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video take care and i'll see you soon